the Joe Rogan experience. You know? I mean, there's so many people that are insulated from the kind of life that you've had. They don't know anybody like you, you know? So oh, I'm realizing that Chris, my producer, I scared the shit out of him. He's like, why are you yelling at me? I'm like, Chris, I'm not <laughs> yelling. You know when a black woman is yelling. When she go to twisting her neck and taking off her wig and unbuckling her bra, I'm yelling. I'm just talking. My voice, I have a deep voice and it's, it carries. And I, you know what's crazy? Because, like I say, he's a little white kid from Indianapolis. And uh, so I'm talking to, on a podcast and I'm teaching him about black pussy incense. You ever heard of that? Black pussy incense? Yeah. You know that you burn. The black people used to burn in their house. I know about incense. but Yeah, I didn't it used know to be called black, black pussy. He uh, swore me down. It wasn't real. So we put out the podcast. Everybody was like, my mama say black pussy is. It was the best scent out there, Joe. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you look like, what did it smell like? <laughs> I like incense. <laughs> yeah, that was the name of it. And I told, I told him about it. He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I'm telling you, black pussy incense. Everybody listen to R. Kelly and burnt black pussy incense on a Saturday morning clean their house. Everybody listen to R. Kelly and burnt black pussy incense. <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Was, <laughs> so every week, every week I'm teaching him something that he has never heard of. What do you think about all this R. Kelly shit? <laughs> uh, I think you did it, Joe. I yeah. mean, but well, th- people just look, it, people just looked away. You know, yeah. it, 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 I, I tell a bit on stage. I said something about a big dick man, big dick black man that can't read. They puts it down. They have all the <laughs> women. <laughs> I can't read. They put it down. Uh, <laughs> My first kid's uh, father couldn't read. <laughs> when they ain't got no side teeth and they can't read, they got the best sex because they practice all the time. <laughs> <laughs> black men who can't read don't don't have sex like black men who got a nine to five who can't read. The sex is totally different. Because they're not tired. Because they practice. All they do is practice on women. I mean, you got my husband got to go to work, Joe. He ain't got time to be flipping me over, slapping me across the head. (laughs) 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 He ain't got time for all that ghetto love. Oh, my God, I'm crying. (laughs) He ain't got time for all that ghetto love. (laughs) But when you got a brother that can't read and don't work, the best sex. Mm. Now, he ain't going to go to work, but he going to watch the young and the wrestling Mm. and the housewife of Atlanta. But when you know when he get back, that that dick is laying on that pillow for you. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! So, <laughs> I know what Whitney Houston went through. Everybody like Bobby ain't for Whitney. I was like that that dick Bobby putting down. <laughs> and you know he had to work even harder because she had more money than him. Right. Yeah. That's true. Somebody so, had a meme they put up on the Instagram the other day of uh, how every dude whose girlfriend is paying for everything stands. And it's like a guy standing with his arm deep around the girl, like deep around holding on to mm-hmm. her while they're waiting in line for things. Baby, in public, always baby, holding yeah. her hand. You can't get my husband to hold my hand. You know why? Because you pay the mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I called home yesterday. I said, I love you. He said, thank you. I'm in the bed. Oh, I was hilarious. on the phone with my thank friend you. one day. <laughs> my t- so I said, listen to my husband. My husband's funny as fuck. And so I said, hey. I said, uh, baby, you want some pussy? He said, not at all. <laughs> 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 not at all. <laughs> My friend said, "Did he say uh, not at all?" And I said, uh, "Guess what? He's snowing already. <laughs> He's snowing already." <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, we have that type of relationship. I said, uh, "Hey, I'm gonna need you to fuck me on the 14 because I think I'm ovulating. I need to get some stuff off my chest." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, <laughs> he said, "Not at all, Joe. We bought a sleep number bed." And he was like, because his knee was messed up, like, by the sleep number bed, I'm going to put it out every night. I'm like, fuck yeah. So I had just got a deal with Fox for my TV show. So I walk in there, I walk in the damn um, sleep number like a real Negro when they get some money. Give me the best fucking bed you want, because I'm going to fuck every night. <laughs> 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 they sold me a thirteen thousand dollars sleep number bed, but I should have known he wasn't gonna do shit because he was insisting on getting a mattress that split down the middle. You know, the two mattresses right. separate. <laughs> that shit split down the middle, and now every time I want to say, I got tap. Hey, you want to come to America and get some pussy? <laughs> <laughs> come to America. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, ah, you want to go to America? Ah. Who's, who's got the harder side? He do. 
he do? He's like, I ain't fucking with you on that mattress. It's too soft on that. Come over here. And then now we done gave up. We just fuck in the middle. And by the time we get met through, the fucking mattress done fell off the bed because we in the middle of the whole lap. <laughs> and half of the time, just chips and shit just stuck in the middle of the bed. <laughs> the remote, my wig, everything just in the middle of the bed. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, as soon as I get my TV show, I'm gonna buy me a match that put us back the fucking gal. <laughs> <laughs>